The word became flesh and blood and moved into the neighborhood. We saw the glory with our own eyes, the one-of-a-kind glory, like father and mother, like son, generous inside and out, true from start to finish. That's John 1.14 in the Message Translation. It explains a concept called the Incarnation, one of the most central tenets of Christianity. Basically, we believe that God took on a body and lived on this planet and ate food and walked among us and had a pulse and all the other things that bodies do. God cares about bodies in the world. And we believe God is calling Minneapolis to be a new city. We believe that communal transformation and personal transformation are deeply connected. Lauren Hill, if you ain't right within, how you gonna win? That's why we're excited to share a new opportunity with you. Through Augsburg University's Riverside Innovation Hub, we are eligible for a $30,000 grant to fund transformative work. We're using that money to grow in our commitment to centering marginalized voices by resourcing people of color in and around our community. Introducing the Incarnation Fund, an opportunity to experience God's wholeness through the natural world, spirit, and our bodies. New City Church is creating the Incarnation Fund to support healing and growth of people of color through nature-based therapy, somatic experiencing therapy, and spiritual direction with practitioners of color. Nature-based therapy grounds healing and resilience in a relationship with creation. We believe that God breathes through the natural world, and we know that healing ourselves and healing the earth depend on each other. And as a person of color, I have not always felt like um, spaces where you can be outside or in nature, um, organizations and programs that allow people to do that um, have been accepting of people of color. But having the opportunity to participate in that in a, in a community setting of people of color would be amazing, liberating, refreshing, safe. That like cyclical, reciprocal relationship is what can heal like both that disconnect between me and creation and like whatever is kind of disconnected in myself. Somatic expressing therapy includes the body in the process of healing and growing through trauma. It can also be said God took on flesh because God cares about bodies and we do too. For me personally, there's been times where I've like forgotten how my body feels or sometimes my body doesn't feel anything. And I've been able to reclaim my, bodies and my, my body in different ways, and I feel like this therapy in particular is going to be helpful because it really focuses on that. Spiritual direction gives us tools and practices um, to, to connect to the divine, and the reason why that's important for me is because as, as a spiritual being, um, I, I recognize how that impacts the way I move in the world, and I want to have a deeper connection with, with the land, with, um, with others, with God, with my body. And I think developing spiritual practices and spiritual tools and conversation around that really impacts myself and the way that I impact the world. We have an unprecedented opportunity to grow. And that means we have an unprecedented opportunity for generosity. This grant from the Riverside Innovation Hub is a one-time gift. And we want to make a way for healing long into the future. That's why we're asking you to help us match these funds, $30,000, so we can continue to invest in our community for years to come. The word is moving in our neighborhood, our bodies, our lives, and we want you to join us.